In this video, I am going to show you how we can create a report like the following one where we have the others row as well as the top three brands that we have on in this model based on the sales amount. So in the data model, we have the products table, then we have the sales table, which is a fact table. Then we have another dimension table, which is the dates table. So what I have done is I have created a new calculated column in my products table, which basically ranks the products product brands that we have based on the sales amount and then I have used that to consolidate the top three brands and the other brands into the others group. So let's get started and I will show you how we can achieve that. So I have removed the calculated column for my products table so that we can start from scratch and what we can do is go to the products table and then we need to create a new calculated column which will basically rank the products brand based on the sales amount and I can name my column as product rank and it will be simply a rank x over all products brand and then in the row context i need to call my total sales measure then i can skip the value field and in the order i want descending because i want the highest selling products to be visible in that matrix and let's close that rank x so let's see if we are getting the rank that we are actually requesting so as you can see that we only can see the number one in that rank column. So what is actually happening? The issue is that when you create a calculated column in a model, the calculated column creates a row context on the existing columns of that table, or you can say on that table and we are and the rank X also creates a row context on the all products brand that we have. So when the total sales, measure initiates and the calculate tr tries to initiate the context transition it not only initiates the context transition from the products brand but it also initiates the context transition from the existing column of this table so there are two row context here one is that is created by the calculated column on the existing table and one that is created by rank x over the products brand so always remember that when the context transition initiates, it takes into account all of the row context that are already existing and it converts all those row contexts into the equivalent filter context. So what we can do is to eliminate the row context or coming from the existing table or, or that is created by the calculated column on that table. We can write calculate and then we can use all except over products and then we can exclude the products brand column from this uh, filter so that when the context transition initiates the all the filters from the products table are removed but the one on the products brand is kept so if i can confirm the measure or the sorry the calculated column i am getting an error so let's see what the error is oh, okay i need to provide additional argument for the rank x and if i click out of the calculated columns code you can see that we have received our rank 1 to 3 till 10 or 11 and the next thing that we need to do is consolidate all those ranks into others group as well as the top three pro product brands that we have and for that we can create a new column and I'm going to name it as new brand and that would be basically an if products rank products rank in one, two and three. Then we want the product brand itself. But if it is greater than the three, what we want is we want it to be consolidated under the others column or the others field. So I can write others and then I can close this if statement. Let me just remove that bracket. So you can see that in this column, we have AdventureWorks, Contoso, Fabricam and others. Now all we need to do is go back to the diagram view and then create our matrix. And then I will show you how we can uh, rank those products based on the new brand that we have created. Okay, so let's go to the data model view or sorry, the diagram view. And what I can do is drag my newly created calculated column into the matrix so I can bring new brand into this field. And all I need to do is drag the total sales measure and you can see that we have adventure works contoso fabricam and others row so these these are sorted in the in, in ascending manner and what we can do is create a rank on the newly created new brand so i can create a new measure so i can write it as product product new rank 
let me just zoom in a little bit and that would be basically a rank x over all new products brand that we have created and then I, in the row context i need to call total sales measure then i can skip the value field and in the order i want descending then i can close rank x so let's drag this measure into the matrix and let's also try to remove this from this ranking from the grand total so i can write if is in scope products new brand then only i want to do this calculation so let's put in a comma and i can indent my code a little bit and if i hit enter you can see that rank has disappeared from the grand total now i can sort this rank or this new field in this matrix any way i want and if i sort it by ascending order so you can see that others row is at the top because all of the products that are except the fabricam contoso and litwear are now consolidated under others so that's why it comes over the top then we have fabricam contoso and adventure works and if i try to make a selection over the dates table or modify the the time period that i have currently selected you can see that you will see that fabricam and contoso will change their position so if i make a change here in the slicer you can see that now contoso is ranked 2 and fabricam is ranked 3 so that was all for this video and i hope you have liked how we can create others row in the calculated column and in the matrix and i will see you in the next one and until then have a great day